Grüezi miteinander. Ich bin die Putzfrau. That's the only German I know. So I'm here in Switzerland, who's been running the Zurich Masterclass, and it's been brilliant. You may have been thinking, that doesn't look like England. So let's pose something. Let's suppose the muses are upon you. You want to go out with your camera, the sun's shining, you want to take some pictures. But look at the light on my face, the sun's way up there. That means it's not very good light, is it? But nonetheless, you've got the muses upon you. You're feeling creative, you want to take pictures. So how about this over here? We were just walking down the road and just sort of saw this little nursery here where they've got, you know, there's some flowers, there's some poppies and stuff like that. They're not in the best condition, but they are pretty colours. The light isn't in the right place, but we still might be able to make a picture with them. I'm just going to go and ask these guys if they'd mind if I took some pictures. So I'll see you in a minute. It's amazing what you can get if you just ask, if you've got the balls to just go up to someone and say, hey guys, do you mind if I take some pictures of your flowers? It's amazing how helpful people can be. In fact, we're just in time because they said, oh, don't be too long though, because we're coming out to cut the remaining flower heads off. These poppies are not in the best condition. Many of them have gone to seed, but there is some color. And I think that by really looking, by searching, we can find a shot. This is about using your eyes, looking around. Now the light isn't, that brilliant. It's very, very harsh, as I said earlier. So let's do a little bit of exploring. Let's see what happens. But the sun is kind of over here. So my first thought is, let's see what they look like backlit with the light coming behind them. So I've already got my uh, 55 to 200 millimeter lens on. I think I'm gonna need that. Why would I need that and not a wide angle lens, for example? Well, look at all the stuff that's around here. It's not exactly the most pretty background, is it? We may want to lose that think what are the properties of a long lens they have a narrow field of view don't they what else can you do with them I'm not telling you you're gonna have to think about it I'll tell you in a minute first let's see if I can find a flower that works so they're pretty thin on the ground because most of them have gone to seed luckily they've just been watered so if we're quick we might get a few little sparkly raindrops but the thing is if you look down here at these you may see that there's mostly oranges, but there's a few pale colored ones. They're gonna stand out in amongst the others. So I'm gonna see if I can do a pale colored one. This is gonna be more difficult because this end they're mostly orange. Let me try shooting this pale one here, looking that way, see what happens. So I'm just gonna get down here. I'll show you through the, this camera what I'm looking at. If I can find it, there it is. Bear with me while I get this focused up. Right, I've got it on the wrong focus mode. Preparation is everything. <laughs> right, that's focused. Let's just roll a bit of video. And it's now changed the focus. <sighs> the trials and tribulations of high tech. Right, that should now be in the right place. Roll video, good. Okay, so there's our pale colored poppy. Now, as you can see, with the lens shorter, we've got a load of that polytunnel over there. We don't really want that, do we? So, what happens if we start to zoom it in? Now it's gonna go a bit out of focus possibly because I can't focus and zoom, right? But you can see the flower we want. Now there's some nice orange bits here. I'm gonna stop the video and refocus so it's a bit better for you. Focus and re-video. That looks better, doesn't it? You see, playing about with your focus, with your depth of field starts to get interesting. I think I wanna go this way a bit and go a bit lower and maybe zoom in a bit, that's better. It's gone out of focus again. Okay, refocus. Also, you see, with a long lens and a shallow depth of field, you've only got to move a tiny bit and suddenly you move your own shot out of focus. So it's gonna be something like that. Sorry about the blurriness, I'm not focusing and redoing it again. Let's take a test shot and see what happens. But you've seen why I wanted to use the longer focal length. Longer focal length, narrow depth of field, but it also has, sorry, narrower field of view, but it also has a shallow depth of field. What aperture do we want? Think on it, what aperture gives you a shallow depth of field? A wide one. So let's focus on the flower. This is gonna be tricky because they're moving in the breeze. So I'm actually gonna pop it onto continuous focus mode. So if I hold the single point dot onto the flower as the flower moves, hopefully it'll hold it nicely in focus. The problem, is whilst the Fuji is a stunningly good little camera, I find the autofocus is a little bit ponderous and slow. That's not 
bad. How's that? That's not bad. We've got a little bit of colour. Let's come around here and down, see if we can get a bit more. Come on, focus up. We don't want that breeze. Now, what I am seeing is, yeah, it's not a bad picture. It looks quite nice, but I think the light is not great. Let's have a look and see what we can find from the other end. It's all about trying things out. I'm only really trying one test because I don't want the video to be too long. Look, I've wet my trousers. Can you see that? Look, I've wet my trousers. <laughs> my mum told me I wasn't allowed out in public because I wet my trousers. Right, how about this one here? Look, we've got a little pale one just here and it's facing into the light almost. That might, if we're lucky, just work. Now we've got to get low. I want to see if I can sandwich it, a depth of field sandwich. You may have seen that video because we got orange here and we got orange there. So let's see if I can line it up with the composition to get this soft, pale one, sharp, soft in the background. Big challenge. This is one for you to try at home, viewers. So let's have another little go at this shot. See if I can get myself lined up. So forgive me, I expect the focus will go all over the place while I'm trying to get myself set up. You can see this is all real world because you're having to wait for me to do things right. Video. Oh, you swine. Did you see that? The focus moved. Try again. Right. Good. Sorry viewers, I'll be back in a minute. I've got a tech issue. There we go. Tech issue solved, right. So you can see, here's our little poppy. Now, look, if I make the lens shorter, it's getting too messy, isn't it? It's like we've got bits of glass house, bits of wall, somebody up the end there. It's not really what we want. We want to keep that tight. So let's just zoom it in onto our chosen poppy. Now I think there's a couple of kind of ways we can go. I quite like the thought of getting it in close. So we've got, it's, it's really sort of to the side of it with the orange strong in the foreground. We could even move to the right a bit and spread it out and put it in the middle. Either one kind of works. Notice these little tiny movements I'm making. That is called controlling your composition. Composition is a function of arms and legs, hands and knees, and moving your body around. It's about using your brain, it's about thinking, it's about using the seven building blocks of photography. I know I bang on about it, but cameras don't take pictures, you do, and it's the way you think about your pictures and think each shot through that will tell you your camera settings. I'm gonna display my camera settings on this video, but they're of no real value to you whatsoever, because if you put those settings on your camera, try and shoot the same picture, the chances are they're not gonna work. They probably won't work for me if I shoot the same picture in five minutes time. You need to visualize and find the picture, use your seven building blocks, think the shot through, and that will tell you the settings you need to use. You have to learn what the settings do first. So let's take our shot. Right, pop that back on to continuous focus mode. So hopefully if there's a wobble, it will track my little plant. Right, of course, the moment I spoke, we got a wobble, didn't we? The breeze has just picked up. Right, come on you, get in focus. And of course the flower's turned its back to me. If you have a look, look, you see? Ah, oh, hopeless. Come on, Breeze, stop blowing. I may even go and move the pot round. Let's just see. Let's just see if I move this way a little. No, it genuinely, I think, has moved the flower, so I'm gonna cheat. Bear with me. I'm just gonna go to that particular pot and just rotate it just a bit. That looks better. That looks better. Now let's try. I'm being impatient. Oof, get in. Right, let's focus on our, there. That's quite nice, look, that's quite a nice little shot. Let's just get our depth of field sandwich a little tighter like that. There's a couple of quite nice shots, even though we're not in the perfect time of day with perfect plants in perfect light. So there you go, this is just a little thing. You know, use your blocks, use your brain. Think about your pictures, think about how to execute them, how to compose them, look at the whole thing. Don't go crazy going click, 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 click. Think about what lens you're using, use the appropriate, appropriate kit. 
So I hope that was useful, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please click in a couple of likes, share it with other photographers. It's incredibly valuable to me because it helps me make more free videos. If you'd like to never miss a video, pop over to our website, photographycourses.biz forward slash video, where you can sign up to my newsletter. We will tell you each time a new video goes live and some other cool stuff too. So meanwhile, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a brilliant time. Get out there, get practicing and have fun. See you later, guys.